What are hardware wallets, how do they work and do you really need one? My name is Christian Rauchenwald and in this video I'm going to answer those and more questions for you. But before we get to that, as always, let's get the usual disclaimer out of the way. Everything I share in this video is my personal opinion and in no way financial or professional advice of any kind. You should always do your own research, consult certified professionals, draw your own conclusions and make your own decisions. With that out of the way, let's jump right into it. To better understand the potential benefits of owning a hardware wallet, we first have to understand the difference between your wallet's private and public keys. Your wallet's public key is comparable to your bank account number, it's the address others can send funds to and there is no harm in sharing it publicly, hence the name public key. On the other hand, your private key, as the name suggests, should remain private and would be comparable to your online banking credentials because it grants access to your entire account and allows whoever knows it to perform transactions. So private keys convey final ownership and control over your cryptocurrency and that's also one of the many reasons for the popular phrase not your keys, not your crypto, often used in combination with exchanges and other centralized crypto platforms. So far so good, that already brings us closer to understanding the true benefits of hardware wallets. However, wouldn't it be enough to own a software wallet like maybe Metamask installed in your browser or for example Gata wallet installed on your phone? After all, you also own the private keys used in those software-based so-called hot wallets. The answer to that is yes and no. While you indeed are the only one that sees and backs up the private key or seed phrase when you create a wallet in a software-based wallet, the key or seed phrase itself is still stored in some way on the device itself and since the device is likely connected to the internet at least every time when you want to perform a transaction, it is still possible for third parties to exploit your own behavior, unknown security issues in the wallet application you're using or flaws in the operating system itself to steal your private keys and with that your crypto. Compared to that, the core difference and security benefit of hardware wallets like for example the Ledger Nano X that I covered recently in a video that you can check out by the way by clicking on the card up here is that your private keys and seed phrase are only stored on the hardware wallet itself and never exposed to your computer or smartphone. Unless of course you make the mistake of backing up the private key or seed phrase you receive during the hardware wallet setup somewhere on your phone or computer. If you however don't do that, any hacker would first have to hack your computer or phone and additionally also gain access to the hardware wallet itself exactly at the moment when it is connected to your computer or mobile phone. So while there are still theoretical ways to hack your hardware wallet, it is simply so much harder to accomplish and as such for most hackers not worth the effort when they simply can focus on stealing crypto from users that are holding it in hot wallets on their device. Now to sum things up so far, assuming that you only keep a physical copy of your hardware wallet's private key or seed phrase, your hardware wallet is simply a much secure place to store your crypto. The downside of hardware wallets is obviously that you always have to connect the wallet to your device to perform transactions and as such makes it less convenient if you're frequently moving funds, which makes a hardware wallet most suitable for holding bigger amounts of crypto for a longer time. Other than that, however, the user experience of using a hardware wallet greatly improved over the last couple of years with, for example, direct integrations of Ledger wallets into Metamask that allows you to use your Ledger hardware wallet through Metamask also without your private keys ever leaving the hardware wallet. The big question left is now, is it worth it or how much would you have to spend on a decent hardware wallet? At the time of recording this video, Ledger for example offers two different models, the Ledger Nano S Plus for 79 euro and the Ledger Nano X with Bluetooth support and an integrated battery for 149 euro. At that price point it's clear that if you only hold a few dollars worth of crypto it doesn't make much sense to spend the money. However, if you either already own hundreds or thousands of dollars worth of crypto or at least plan to invest more into crypto over time, then starting with a hardware wallet 
wallet is definitely worth the investment and will reduce your risk of ever losing your crypto to hackers drastically. Anyways, that's it for today. Let me know in the comments down below if you already have a hardware wallet and if yes, which one or if you consider getting one in the future. And obviously, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to also leave them in the comments down below or even better, use the link in the video description down below to join our Discord community and discuss hardware wallets and other cryptocurrency related topics with me and the community there. Thanks for watching. See you in one of my other videos. Till then, bye bye.